Look at you, though. He's looking at your sister. If you knew Olivia Swedberg, you were in for a treat. Her vibrant personality and character as a three-year-old impacted many people in a positive way. Olivia was diagnosed May 7th with DIPG. It's a terminal brain cancer. It's a tumor that centralizes in her brain stem and um, unfortunately there's a zero percent survival rate. That's when Olivia's family knew they had to live life to the fullest every single day. Recently they were on a Disney cruise when Olivia deteriorated quickly. And we ended up in Orlando and while I was in Orlando a lady emailed me and told me that she had been following Lucas's story and our story and felt compelled by God to contact us to let us know that he needed to deliver. She was very sorry for us, but also knew that there was a bigger picture in place. Lucas lives in the Pittsburgh area. He only had a few weeks to live. His family was praying for a miracle. That's when they learned about Olivia. So Olivia's mom arranged a direct organ donation for Lucas. Next step, big step would be one to maintain his blood pressure. Uh, to just control the fluid. Turns out Olivia's liver was the wings? miracle Lucas needed. <laughs> Do you love him? They are grateful. Yeah. You look at those pictures and you look into her eyes and it's like her soul is coming. And it takes a very strong person to be able to step out of that and show love for somebody like, like our donor family did. Olivia's mom tells me then something else happened. Another boy named Angelo got Olivia's bowels. He was born with his intestines on the outside of his stomach. Olivia's mom says they are finding peace knowing Olivia is helping other kids. Um, she's an amazing little girl and we will miss her so terrible. But I know that I have renewed faith. I, I've seen God's hands work in this and how could I not move forward knowing what a miracle she was to these pleading, praying families.